Tromso, 350 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle, the largest city and urban area in northern Norway. In the summer, it's the land of the midnight sun. In the winter, it's in constant darkness of the polar night. It's the focal point for the medical needs of the country's northern health region with its combined population of 465,000 people. And it's here that a piece of software is being trialled which will revolutionise the way people in remote areas monitor and manage diabetes. We have been working for, for a few years with the diabetes diary on the mobile phone for, as a self-help tool with the patients, very closely with patients. So the patients being integrated in how the demands for the solution is and we've also been measuring how it works also clinically. But all the studies we've done so far has been a clinical study to see what kind of effect this will have on their situation, on their personal medical situation. Often patients say that my blood sugar varies a lot and I don't really understand it at all. So what's happening? How should I do this? Having those measurements Sharing it, looking at the same data simultaneously and discussing the data makes it so much easier. The app is a very good tool for the pedagogics of teaching carbohydrate content, counting, in order to do the adjustments optimally. What it does at the first page, you see an overview of your recent recordings. So both your glucose, your insulin, your foods, and your physical activity. It tells you easily if you're good in, in the right range, so between four and 10. And at the bottom, you see a graph of the periodicity. Then see if there are any specific time of the day you are too high or too low. And you can also go into all your recordings to see the history. And I can also search for or eat things that I don't eat that often. For instance, this creme brulee. And then I can learn from that situation in order to make it better the next time. So I can also see the glucose value graphically. So I see a plot of either the last day, I can zoom out to see the last week, and even the last month. And I can expand the uh, area. A close link between project developers and clinicians has been vital in bringing the Diabetes Diary to a testing stage with real patients. It's been uh, overwhelming, challenging and rewarding. Getting the solution into the workflow of the clinicians is crucial. They have such a high intense uh, work day that uh, you can't expect them to deal with uh, technology that is not aligned with that workflow or designed for and with them. You know. Uh, so yes, yes, that's crucial. Eirik Orsan started work on the Diabetes Diary app in 2001, inspired by the launch of Bluetooth. His own health played a major part in refining it to date as a prototype for the Android platform. Well, having a type 1 diabetes as I have is very hard. I use the tools that we develop for the patients in research projects myself and uh, and it has been increasingly uh, easier. Involving the patients has been very crucial in designing the diabetes diary. So without getting direct feedback from the patients, it's, it's of course very hard to have a good product. The diabetes diary is ideal for remotely placed patients to record vital data and pass it on to clinicians, avoiding lengthy journeys and frequent consultations. Living on the island of Vanoya, 100 kilometers north of Tromso by road and ferry, Dag Solberg is an example of someone who's benefiting from trialing the app. I used to have to note all the measurements and what I put in the and what I put in the But after that, I just stopped with that. Now it's just on the phone. I think it's much better than the phone. The phone is on the phone, so it's on the phone. And the phone is on the phone, so it's on the phone. It's on the phone. So, men uh, jag syns ju också att jag har lite mer kontroll då när jag har, har det på telefon. Jag är er väldigt förnöjd med att bruka den och syns den är er väldigt eh, enkel och grej för att få översikt på en måte. Ja, och lite kontroll då, självklart. Efter på det så har han 
tegna när du börjar och krypa under 5 4 så då märker man på kroppen att nu är er det lågt och nu måste jag måla och spisa rätt. Så nu är er det mycket bättre. Well up into the Arctic Circle, 1,311 kilometers from the North Pole, lies the remote island of Svalbard. Totally dark for 24 hours a day in winter, it's inhabited by 2,195 people, and about the same number of polar bears. Cecil Somerset, a type 1 diabetic, has her insulin doses administered by pump. Jag följde mig egentligen mycket tryggare där nere. Då tog jag och slurve sånt som jag kan göra nu. För att gick jag hög eller gick jag lav eller var usäker så kunde jag ringa och då var ofta till kontroll. Jag hade kärpe kontakt med de cykelplaner nere. Men det är liksom ska du nätta tromsa på kontroll så måste du ta det. Jag är er ju heldig så jag jobbar ju inte. Jag släpper att ta mig fri men du är nere där i i två dagar. Today she's being shown how to use the app by a researcher who's traveled 894 kilometers up from Tromsø. Eh den hoppar kan lätta vardagen min. Ja, den hoppar kan lätta min vardag. Kanske få lite bättre kontroll på blodsockermålningen och få bättre kontakt med de i Tromsø også det blir mer trygg för den trygghetsförelsen som jag kanske för att jag inte har här uppe kontra det jag hade nära. Det blir spännande. At present data transfer is being piloted by phone, computer or face-to-face -face consultations, but the aim is to quickly achieve a more efficient method. What we want to put up in Five Star is um, we we want to use the same patients, much the same, make some new recruitments as well, but some of them we already know, uh, and set them up with this solution where we are also going to make them transfer the data to the specialists at the clinic. Five Star partners at the University of Ljubljana are currently forging ahead developing an app for iOS phones using a direct plug-in to make an all-in-one device, giving patients more choice. The app will make use of a Fistar generic enabler, allowing it to communicate with the Fiware platform. It is fantastic to see that there is a lot of new innovative technology being developed that can actually be used in different IoT domains. And I think that we have a unique opportunity here at Fistar where we can actually take that technology and try to bring it into the real world. And I see immense benefit if the technology is able to support such, such systems. Well, as we've seen that uh, it works with our patients in our courses, I don't see, well, the way I see it, this could work just as well in other hospitals in Norway as well, well as in globally all around the world, I think.